welcome back to the gun dungeon this is a completely selfish video and i'm just going to be straight up front about it i wanted to do this video because i wanted to see the results of this test and what we're going to be doing today is putting the 110 grain barns tac xp or tac tx my bad up against the hornady cx both of these are all copper bullets of course this is 300 blackout we're talking about here they're all copper bullets they are both charged with the same powder same amount of powder both are 110 grain we're going to be putting them into jail i'm going to be using a 10 and a half inch barrel i do have a chronograph set up so we'll get the actual impact velocity i'm hoping the 10 and a half inch barrel will give us around 2,000 feet per second hoping somewhere in there and that'll give us a good low velocity impact test and then I have a 16 inch barrel here that we're gonna be using. And I'm hoping that'll give me somewhere around 2,500 feet per second based on the charge that I got here. We got jail block Jerry ready to ride the block. And I'm gonna have to keep an eye where he goes cause I very well may lose him in, the, in battle here today since we got a little bit of a covering here. But I don't guess there's much sense in talking about anything else. Let's just go ahead and load up. I'm gonna shoot the 10 and a half inch barrel first, and then we'll see how it does with each one, and then move to the 16 inch. So it'll be, I'll probably shoot the, uh, let's shoot the Barnes first, and then the Hornady CX 10 and a half inch, and then we'll do Barnes 16 inch, and then Hornady 16 inch. Let's go. As the barns 2384 from a 10 and a half inch barrel that load is scooting now I'm having a real hard time keeping this bullet in this block that's a good looking wound track I'm gonna say that got some fragmentation here at the front but look how this thing it's, it's a good shot and then it just bellows straight down towards the bottom of the block not sure why I did that. Let's try it again. Let's do the Barnes TAC TX 110, 10 and a half inch, one more time. Y'all be sure to go over and check out Vetter Holsters. They're a big sponsor of the channel, help me out quite a bit. So y'all get over there and help them out as well. Here's one of their outside the waistband models. Awesome design. They have about any design you can think of. They're also one of the few companies that I've seen making holsters like this with the claw attachment inside the waistband model that fits the Glock 29 and the 10 millimeter versions of the XDMs. So if you have a gun, they probably make a holster for it. Check out Vetter Holsters. And while we're at it, I got to mention Target Sports. They just became a sponsor of the channel. If you shoot very much throughout the year, their Ammo Plus membership is well worth it. It'll pay for itself in the year's time if you shoot very much at all. So be sure to go check out Target Sports. Their link is below. I have no idea why this thing keeps curving straight down. I know I'm lining up with the top of the block. But again, great wound track. Just done the same thing. Let's try it one more time, that gone. All right, we caught this one, 2,358 feet per second. That's boogie and I have a 10 and a half inch barrel. Starting to lose my table. <laughs> but here, let me show you this real quick. Caught this one, but look at this wound track. And this one curves to the left. I don't know why these bullets are curving so hard. But like I said, Great wound tracks, looks really, really good. And there sets our bullet, look at that. Now, let me slap the tape measure on here since I was unprepared. 
we got 21 and 3 quarter about what it looks like straight above penetration there the expansion looks pretty good all right now let's try the cx out of the same 10 and a half inch barrel all right 24 48 man i'm getting pretty impressed with this uh little gun charge all right so you can see that one curved too it's that upper track very very good looking wound track and it curved up these monolithics don't like to fly straight in jail I can tell you that get a better look at it right here you can see that red in there that's the track all the wound tracks look pretty well identical honestly and there sets our bullet very well expanded 21 and a quarter that's where the bullet's setting so a little less penetration than the barns but not by much so we're talking a half inch and excellent wound track for the hornady and the barns both so far performance looks pretty similar let's try 16 inch barrel see what kind of velocities we get from that baby Twenty five thirty four. Moving right along. All right. So here, this really dark track right here on the top. That's the wound track from this one. This one seemed to fly a little straighter. And it's a pretty nasty wound track. This is the barns again. And looks like we got a little bit more penetration this time. Let's stretch our tape measure out here and take a look. Uh, looking at like, looks like about 22 and mm, I'm going to call it 5 8 to the leading edge. It's really hard to tell because you got to get straight above this thing. And it's hard to do it with the camera. You just have to take my word for it. When I line my head up with it, it's about 22 and 5 8 to the leading edge of that barn's bullet. I'm just glad we got this one pulled off with one shot. Let's try the Hornady CX this time, 16 inch barrel. Twenty-five fifty-six. I don't know if y'all can see that screen or not. I can barely see it. This light's all jacked up today. But twenty-five fifty-six. And guys, that was the most violent one yet. Look at that wound track. This top wound track. That sucker is rowdy. See the polymer tip there? That red one. That's pretty rough. And it settles down there, and I do not need the tape measure because this one only went 16 inches. It is actually stuck right in the face of the second block. Made it easy to dig that out. You can kind of see why penetration was a little less, since that one pedal stuck way off there. Didn't fold back like a typical expansion. Well, let's dig the rest of these out and take a look. All right, guys, this is the barns from the 10 and a half inch, from the 16 inch, CX from the 10 and a half inch and 16 inch. And Dale, the barns only has the four pedals. Well, and I just dropped that one in the snow. Oh, oh butterfingers here. And 16 inch, it's really strange because it seems like these 16 inch shots are actually got they're expanded more which is not what i would expect i would expect the pedals to fold back on the base more so like this from the higher velocities but that's not what we're getting this was the 10 and a half inch cx 
little you can see why they curve too because these fold are not folded back as much as these same for this you know it's just not uniform so that's why they're curving through the gel and then this wild one this hornady cx with that one finger sticking off there looks like it's telling you to f off a little bit but <laughs> i mean it's kind of wild because it's it's kind of the opposite of what i would have expected i would have expected the more folded back pedals to be from higher velocities but that's not what we got really strange i will say i think having the six pedals on the cx gives you a little bit more frontal surface area whenever you do get the expansion so that might be why we had the extreme wound track with that 16 inch cx versus the other ones well guys i was way off on those 10 and a half inch expected velocities huh it was over 2,300 feet per second with uh, the 10 and a half inch from both of these bullets, over 2,500 with the 16 inch, and we got really good performance from both bullets in my opinion. I really, <laughs> I'm completely off on all of my expectations today. I was off on the 10 and a half inch barrel velocities, which I don't know why I expected it to be around 2,000. Little gun's pretty good powder for 300 blackout. I was off on expecting the lower velocities to be not be ex opened up wider than the higher velocities i don't know and honestly my expectation going into this was i expected the barns to expand more and penetrate less and the cx to be more of a controlled expansion with more penetration that was kind of my initial expectations coming into this but it seems like that's even kind of opposite because the cx actually penetrated less from both barrel lengths and you know that it looked like it was a pretty wild expansion on that 16 inch one too and you can see why the pretty wild wound track there so i don't know man i don't know which one to give it to uh they both did really really well i don't think you're going to go wrong with either let me know what you all thought down in the comments if you like this type of, of material you want to see more of it you can join patreon you can go join my facebook which that's kind of in the air right now i'm suspended on there i'm a little bit more rowdy on instagram facebook stuff like that than i am in my youtube stuff because i don't care if those things get shut down as you can tell but anyways check out my sponsors down below appreciate you guys till next time stay tuned